And when you get it, might be all, but whatever you get, enough. I am telling you, it is enough and it yes. is what is required for when you walk out the door. Amen. And when you get it, and you are converted, and you understand it, and you settle in it, you have a responsibility Amen. to tell the next person that God sent your way yes. because they need that word. Yes. Don't worry if they don't need the word. They need they it. Need yes. the word. God's not sending anybody that doesn't need it. Amen. Just what he gives you when you sit under his word is just what he wants you to yes. feed somebody else yes. with. And this is what happened to these women. So we must be prompt. We must be disciplined and we must move fast with purpose. Yes. And our purpose is to carry the word of God Amen. wherever God allows yes. us to. Yes. Hallelujah. I looked up an, another synonym. It was ready. Be prepared. Yes. When you come to church, it doesn't matter what you left home in the house. Amen. Be prepared to get a word from God. Amen. Why? Amen. Because you are a vessel yes. thank you, Lord. that the word is poured into. So that is your, your responsibility is not to man. You must serve men because your responsibility is to God. Yes. So you must be prepared at all times. It doesn't matter if you come here with a headache. It doesn't matter if you come here after you quarrel with, with, with your loved ones back home. I did this morning. But, I, but the enemy was not going to get room. I will not give him room because he didn't give me life. Amen, yeah. sister. And so I had to say, the word that is already in me will come up. Amen. It will arise. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Because I'm going to do the work of God. Yes. More than the argument at home, I know that God has sent one woman to hear the word, of, to hear his word, so that she can carry it out. And so I give praise. So you must be prepared. Yes. It means that when you come, you have to do your best yes. to focus. Amen. Focus on the word. Yes. Focus on the praise and worship. Get yourself in it. Focus on it because sometimes in praise and worship you get your word. Yes. And then focus. When you when you focus and you align yourself in praise and worship, mm -hmm. the Lord sends a word. Yes. Sometimes the preacher didn't have that in mind. Of course the preacher doesn't. Because that's the spirit of God. Yes. As the wind bloweth, so does the spirit. And so does the spirit rest upon the preacher. Amen. And sometimes the preacher can plan everything. And when they get before you, because you have aligned yourself yes. and you are prepared, God sends the word. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Amen. So you must be prepared. Yes, Willing, open yes. to receive. Yes. Open to receive the word, the invitation, the command of God. Yes. And you are ready to go. So they got the invitation to come and see. And they got the invitation to go and tell. Yes. Tell my, these two women got the invitation to go to the disciples. Yes. To go to the body of Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. To go to who said Jesus Amen. is my Lord. Yes, Amen. Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. The Lord. And out of this, this we know. We have to go to the body. We have to reach the body of Christ at all lengths. Because if I encourage you and you encourage your next sister or a brother and they in turn encourage somebody else, we are building the body. And right now, the body of Christ is not where we are supposed to be. We are sleeping, some of us. We are not alert. We are not prompt. Oh my God, we are undisciplined. The body of Christ is. And we need to discipline ourselves. We look at the world and we say, oh, the world is going bad. And this and that and what is happening. And we're not looking in the mirror of the world. Look in the mirror. See where we are. Are we ready to go? Some of us want to go, but we didn't even come. We didn't even 
first come to see, but we want to go. No, God does things in order. Amen. And this is what he wants. And while I'm reading it, the scripture came up again that the Lord gave me a couple of years ago. And then in prayer, um, our, women's, um, our women's president, the Lord gave her the word. And when the Lord gave her the word, she was happy. And when she came to me, I laughed. But the way the Lord gave her the word, it was like a revival yes. in her soul. And that word is from, is from Psalms 868, 11. verse 11. That the word of power that the Lord sent out, the host the or the women that took it was a mighty host. Amen was a great host. And so when I looked it up, in the, in the, in the King James Version, it has the, um, the, 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 the host, you know, that, 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 that carried it. And I looked into the concordance, and when I looked at the, at, at, um, the, the coordinating scriptures, um, Exodus 15, 20, it was telling you about Miriam and the women coming. And even 1 Samuel 18, 6 and 7, it is telling you all the corresponding verses in King James Version is telling you that it is the women. And what the women did, the women took up their timbrels and they began to dance and praise the Lord. You see, so they were telling them, don't stay down, get up. And let's, and let's worship God. Get up and let's do it. Listen, ladies. You are a spark. You are a spark. And you can ignite anything. Amen. As long as you stand in line with God. Are you determined? Are you alert? Do you want to understand? Are you ready to discipline yourself? Are you prepared and open to receive what God is saying to you? Because God cannot use every woman. Because every woman would not release herself to the Holy Spirit. So you are called. You are chosen. As you are here this morning, to be a carrier of the word of God. And I'm telling you, you're going to hear Jesus. You're going to hear everybody. Yeah. And you're going to say, I believe my pastor. Yeah. And I believe what this sister said. Yeah. And I believe the word that I said. And while you're receiving it, you will meet yeah. the spirit of Jesus, Jesus. Christ. Yeah. And the Spirit will make it clear. The Spirit will confirm it to you. Yes, so no more. Let us walk into our churches yes. and say, I don't feel like. I know that sometimes you're tired because outside we're taking care of everything. But when we get, we're about to go into the church, let us say, I'm going prepared to hear, to see, because I have to carry. You were born with what it takes to yes. incubate. Mm. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. You were born to be a carrier yes, Lord. of the word of God. Yes. Doesn't matter what anybody say, you yes. and I were born. Hallelujah. To be a carrier yes, Lord. of the word. Hallelujah. The living word. Hallelujah. The written word. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. And when we do that, we give glory to God. Hallelujah. Do we want to give God glory? Well, that's all we have to do. Amen. Be, alert. be alert. Be disciplined. Yes. Be ready. Be open to receive yes, Lord. what the Lord say. Hallelujah. And then go quickly. Yes, Lord. Don't keep it to yourself from the moment you understand it. And take it to God. 
Yes, Lord. Take it to the world. Yes, Lord. There are people in our families that need it. Jesus met the women. He said, don't be afraid. He said, go and tell my brethren that the place assigned, meet me there. They will see me. And they will understand. Because they didn't before. And when they understood, these disciples, gee, even though they were acting dumb, some of them, because one said, I don't, I would not see, I'm not believing until I see it. Yes. And so many times yes. we do. Yes. We forget all the works that's going on around us. We forget all, all the, the miracles. Yes. And we say, if I don't see it for myself, I'm not yes. going to believe it. He said, but blessed are you who have not seen, but believe. Hallelujah. And women, we have to get up and stand on our most holy faith. And whatever we do, whether it's in the church or outside of the church, let's make up our minds to please God. Let's make up our minds to live by the integrity of God's word. Because if nobody's looking at you, you are looking at you. And the all seeing eyes of God that looks all over the earth, he's looking at us. Yes. And he wants us to please him. And he wants us to give him the glory. And there's work that we have to do. Jesus said, tell my brethren. Tell my brothers and sisters. There are unsaved people in our community, the community of our life, that are brothers and sisters. They don't know it yet. They're not saved yet. But it's our responsibility yes. to make sure that they not to bump them over the head, but give them the word. Yes, Lord. I heard Lady Peckle say, an iron fist in a white glove. Mm -hmm. So we have to give the word of God. <laughs> we have to be prepared because we are going to answer God. We yes. cannot tell God we didn't know. One of the things that I know about God is that when you're willing to serve him, oh, he makes sure that you understand him. Yes. And he equip you. Yes, and the rest is up to us. Yes, so saints of God, women of God, be encouraged. And let us desire to learn more of God. Amen. Because that's what he wants. Let us unite ourselves in the work for God. It doesn't matter what churches we are. We are under the blood. We are one in Christ. Yes. And so my desire is that we learn. We come and see. We understand who God is. So that then we can give a good report. And that when we build somebody up, they can... They, they, they can bear fruit of the word, and our fruit remains. That's what we want. We want our fruit to remain. We want somebody to look at us and say, whatever she says she do, whatever she does, she says it. Yes. That's it. So what you see is what you get. Amen. That's what we want. We want Amen. to stand up and say, what you see is what you get. And then when anybody else says, yeah. What, what I see is what I get. I've known her for 10 years, for 12 years, for 20 years, same way. Yes. For God. Amen. Praise his name. Praise yes. the Lord. God bless you. God keep you. God make his face to shine upon you. And God give you his peace. Amen. Thank you, Bishop.